Today, we're back with another Forza Horizon 3 video, and uh, I think I you know, gave this series a name called Budget Car uh, Tournament or Budget Car Challenge. Um, so that was the final name, and I really like it. I think it's, it's pretty good. And uh, today, as you can see, we have a Ford Focus. No, wait, hold on. That's not a Focus. That is a Fiesta. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a, that's a Ford Fiesta ST. It's okay, guys. I got the speed type version of it, so this is a uh, this is smaller than the regular one. Physically smaller. It's like a clown car. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the racing car of choice in Drift City. But here, no. Uh, maybe not. Um, but no, we can definitely see that this car is a uh, is definitely looking like a rally car here. Uh, it's definitely got the rally livery going on. Um, and the car looks pretty cool, and you know, I got it for under 20k, so, hey, you know, this is the car we're putting to the test today, and let's see if it could beat the AMC Rebels times in some of the more off-road courses, or will it not be able to keep up with that incredible speed on the AMC Rebel with courses like maybe Goliath or huge straights? Well, well I guess we gotta find out. Let's get right into it. Alright, so here we are in the first race with the Ford Fiesta. So, let's get right into it guys. Let's see how this weird looking rally car does. Is that an F1? That is an F1. That is a scary part of be fighting. Ugh. Already off the bat. This thing is quick. I'd hope this thing would do good here. It is a rally track. Get out of the way! Get out of the way, TV or cigars. So you don't belong here. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Oh, we did not flip. Did not flip. Wow, this thing is this thing is nippy. Look at this. Power. Big air. Oh man, we actually jumped it entirely. This thing is crazy. The very very strong brakes. A lot of handling upgrades. Pass by a skyline. Get out of the way, Mr. Skyline. You are bad. You know, when I got this car, I realized like very, very quickly after that. Oh, geez, that was that was. I spoke too soon, guys. We we swerved out a bit. Oh, geez. You know, they they had they had the they had the, the, the rally paint on it that looks like the Ford Focus rally car race the rally paint. So I thought, eh, it's, it's probably a Focus. It looks like a Focus. It's made by Ford, right? It's got to be the same thing. And I will not lie, it's it's very similar, yeah. If we need a bit, be a bit more cautious in some of those corners. Rally legend. Oh, everything went okay. Nothing went bad a second time. No, I said this thing was grippy. I lied. They count. They counted. We're going for it. And across the line. Now, that race was terrifying. This thing was scary to drive, to say the least. At first, very grippy. And I'm like, let's see if I can push this thing to the limit. And I certainly found the limit, that's for sure. But look at that time. 49 seconds. Best time there. Great result. Alright guys, so here we are with race number two, City Street Sprint. I think this one will be pretty interesting considering that this car is really, really good at accelerating, but I don't think the top speed is going to be that high. So let's see how this longer style race goes. So right away, this thing's acceleration is mad fast. See that this, this thing, this thing was tuned. This thing was definitely made for off-road, for sure. We definitely have the off-road tires. Rally suspension. You can really tell the rally suspension is because, like, coming through corners, like you, like you, you slide a lot, and like the recovery is just not there. Dennis, the on-road warrior. Oh, gee, Orza made a put out a patch 
saying that it optimized game performance, but the only thing that's actually gotten me is huge amounts of frame drops. You know, like, for the first time I'm seeing that number tick below 30 FPS, and I have it locked at 30 FPS. Before I used to get actually more than that, but I had it locked at 30 just for consistency's sake. Because I didn't like it varying. But now, you know, I can't even hold 30. Power, speed. This to slow down here, but we're not gonna slow down. Oh god, we should have. Just like that, we're gonna use his body to slow down, and that's all oh, fair and good. <laughs> in real life, you guys do that too. If you just press the Y button in real life, you guys will rewind. And it will be beautiful. Alright, so here we are in the third race now. And, um, you know, I am realizing that maybe, just maybe, uh, we need to have, like, a super off-road course. Because the first course is off-road. Uh, very tight corners and whatnot. Definitely rally track, for sure. But I think we need to have something that's, like, super off-road kind of added on. Just to see what would go on there. And I can tell you, you know, the first car that we had, the, uh, the AMC Rebel, would have absolutely died the entire time if we had the super off-road track. I mean, what, it came in 10th place when we were in the, uh, you know, the one rally track, the first one. Hey, hey, play nice. Don't mess with my party. Don't crash my party, bro. That, that, that's the name of the car, it's called the, it's called the Fiesta. That's party in Spanish. Party too hard. I should stop the Fiesta jokes now. You know, you get scared. You just kind of pedal to the metal and you go fast, and you just kind of want to estimate of how much you should slow down. You have time to memorize the track, what? In real life, they have the blinds there too. Oh, up in the wall. Power through here. No, curse you. Wait, that's not a Ferrari, that's a, that's a Corvette. I really mistook a, Cor a Corvette for a Ferrari. That is how nice that Corvette looks that I mistook it for a Ferrari. Unless there's a Ferrari with like the same paint job. Yes, there is. There is one with the same paint job back there. I'm glad I I'm glad I uh, made that distinction somehow. I'm like, there's no way. My mind's just like, nah, no, Will. No. There's two. There are two cars with the same paint job in this race. I mean they're coming out of the corner. Oh god, this oh that was a that was a that was a heavy object that I hit. I mean, that was an appropriate reaction to a lot of the objects I've been hitting, like that steel pole. I should have just indented my car on that, but it's Forza. But could you imagine, like, an actual Fiesta being like this? I don't know if this car is, like, real, you know? I don't know if this paint job is, like, like paying homage to a Ford Focus that had this paint job, or something like that. No, block him. Aha. Get booted. Defeated. Yeah, look at those times on the Ferrari and that Corvette. That is that is nuts. Alrighty guys, here we are on the final race. Goliath. Let's see how this little beast of a car will do this time. Certainly the race results have been better in terms of finishes than our uh, Rebel. But are the times better? I'm not really sure. I think I'm going to build a spreadsheet. So we can see them after all is said and done. Oh goodness, I'm gonna have to block people again. You're not a real car, Vauxhall. Go back to where you came from. Australia. Wait. Um, uh, I'm sorry. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you guys have seen anything uh, absolutely, you know, silly. Uh, like, uh, like, like how I drive right now. In comparison, at least, to how the uh, the Rebel was doing, I suppose, because this is, this is pretty well, doing pretty well. And I'm going to ignore the fact that the only reason why I'm holding a lead is because I'm blocking people. I thought there was someone like, under our little logo or whatever, like, on the, on the map that shows where we are. I thought there was someone, like, right under that, because I just heard, like, the engine sounds, like, inside of me. <laughs> There's another car inside my car! Oh my goodness, there he is! And I really hope you guys are enjoying Forza Horizon 3 content. I know I am, you know, we all, you know, a lot of people love Drift City, but, you know, 
look at look, look at the graphics in this game. Look at the customization in this game. You could you, and, and cars are actually realistic to how they actually perform in the real world. Yeah, this is this is a lot of blocking because look, how, like we're only going what 175 right now. We yeah, we're about to top out. As long as we keep trying to block these guys. Look at that Vauxhall. Oh my goodness, this guy's a speed demon. Lord Focus. Shelby Daytona Coupe, look at him! Holy moly, passing on the side. This is like a mad blocking spree here. They're afraid of this fiesta. They don't wanna they don't wanna mess with the party here. Pretty wild party up in first place, eh guys? <laughs> I said I'd stop doing this. Again, in the, in the corners. I mean, this thing, this thing pulls like crazy coming out of the corners, so... I will have to say, oh my goodness. Oh, it's Dennis. Today, Dennis. Not today. Stay back, Dennis. You don't mess with this. Yeah, that 360. I mean, I have the VIP version of Forza Horizon, but I did not get the uh, season pass. Um, so, you know, I've seen the DLC packs come out, and I was wondering if, you know, something I could do would be to get the season pass and maybe kind of review what's in them. Um, but I kind of want to hear your guys' opinions first. You know, if any of you have Forza Horizon 3, and you're like, hey, you know, I got, I got the car pack, and, you know, it's for the, not the car pack, but the, uh, season pass, and, you know, they really, you know, really like it, you know, just tell me what, you know, how you feel. And I just realized something, not only is that Corvette here, without the paint job. But the Ferraris here as well, they both listened. They both stripped their paint job so they could become you know, anonymous from each other. Well, not anonymous, but, you know. You can tell which one's who when they're coming up behind you. Coming on coming on about 10 minutes now. I feel like we've uh, gone through a good 70% of Goliath here. Sorry, Mr. Sign. Come back for you. Park a lot. Uh, there's a lot of speed on those bushes. Those part of the plan. Don't want to be too fast. Want to give them the illusion that you're slow. Or they go easy on you, and then, then you beat them. No. This Corvette might have pulled too far ahead for us to recover that spot. Darn. Big air! Rocks! Everything went well. That is definitely how we landed the first time we did not hit a pile of rocks and die. Oh! Oh! Are we gonna take it? Are we gonna snatch victory from the jaws of defeat? He's gonna go for the block! Can we do it? No! Oh! Ah, oh, so close. We almost had that comeback. Darn. That was really, really close. But hey, we're still gonna come ahead by a long shot, and we're gonna win this championship for the Ford Fiesta ST. It's the speed type one. Posted a BT version. Another championship! I expect you've lost count by now. This is a good thing I haven't. Oh. Yep, before the announced lady telling me again that, uh, good job. Alright, so here we are, guys. After that huge tournament. And as we can see, we're gonna look at some of the history of the car here. The car made about the same amount of money as the Rebel did, and it has a huge amount of time driven. So maybe the time driven. Might not be literal. Who knows? Maybe it's, uh, I guess more, uh, you know, I guess I think it's more game time. You know, amount of time driven. You know, we drove it over 500 miles, uh, 75% win percentage, which is accurate. <laughs> I mean, it's had four races, and those are the four races that we gave it. So, yeah, I guess we could look at that, too, to see how many times it's raced, so we can figure out how much credits we actually won in the car. Exactly, so I'll put that in the spreadsheet too, if we can determine how much money we got from it. Um, 
So yeah, uh, we take a look here. This had three owners actually, so this car actually had another owner previously before we did even. That's pretty cool. Uh, X Tobots, thank you for giving me the pleasure of driving your Fiesta uh, that I thought was a Ford Focus. And if we look at these stats here, you know, I actually didn't look at these until now. Uh, very small engine for sure. This is probably the stock engine upgraded. 433 horsepower, 479 foot pounds of torque. That, is, that looks, it's, it feels like a rally engine for sure. Those, those stats look rally, which is crazy. All wheel drive swapped, handled pretty well. I think this car was great. The car did really, really well. You know, the only problem was it's not going to do very well in those super, you know, long straightaways. The car needs to have just power, like our Rebel did. But you know, this thing definitely kicked butt. It came to all the courses that had a lot of tight corners. Rebel just couldn't handle because too much power, right? You know, the balance. And you know, eh, maybe this wasn't perfectly balanced, but I think it was definitely more balanced than the Rebel was for sure. So, um. You know, towards the end of this video, I'm going to put up the spreadsheet. It's going to have all of the times um, for each race, and it'll kind of weigh out how good this car did. And, you know, in the next episode, we'll kind of talk about, I guess, how it did for a little bit. See how it did in comparison to the Rebel. And then we'll see the next car in the next episode of Ian Plays Horizon 3. Uh, budget Car Challenge Spotlight uh, thing. Let's play thing. Yeah, it's bad. Anyway, it is time to end. And until next time, this is Heen, signing out.